crazy and he thinks he's the personification of death itself. Or you are free to accept that he is literally the omnipotent uh, existence of death. <laughs> uh, and he haunts people whenever they, uh, whenever they are close to death. Um, so <laughs> you, are, you are free to accept whichever you choose. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so right now, though, I've just recently brought Norman back properly uh, here uh, in 3.0, and I'm broke as fuck. I have a thousand dollars to my name. So <laughs> today is going to be a day of figuring out how to fucking make a spot of cash, quite frankly. <clears throat> Without being a... Listen, I already have the Red Grinder Bison. Bloppy new name. And I use Stanley Wilkinson as a name. New face, new place. Yep. Um, Clarence Copper. Oh, so, okay. Fi uh, originally, I, I stabbed 54... Holy shit. I stabbed 54 people and five of those characters permed. Initially, I thought it was only four of the characters. But Airborne told me later on that it was the only kill that I did off stream as Norman. And uh, he permed that character. It was good. Anyway, uh, I saw a couple other people ask if uh, I used like a voice changer for it. I, nothing. Nothing. I don't. I don't. I don't. Voice changer. Just Money, lower. Please? I just go down a few octaves. <laughs> It's a lot, it's a lot nicer. <laughs> yeah, use too much air doing it the old way, yeah. <laughs> Please tell me you have the mask already? Oh, what? who do you think I am? Oh fuck, why is the mask not working? Please, bro. Yeah. On right now. So there was also someone advertising earlier. Where is it? Where is it? Paranormal investigator. I want to get involved with this. <clears throat> H Hello? Hello there. I was uh, calling uh, about your ad on the yellow pages. Yes? <clears throat> I was wondering uh, if you had anything uh, upcoming of any future. Sounds good. Uh, in which case, I'll uh, I'll keep an eye out, and you're free to uh, save this number if you want. My name's Norman. No, no, Norman. It's a, a pleasure to meet you. No, no, Norman. My name's Kick Cass, and I hope to see you again soon. All right, thank you, madam. Have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can just look around. Dude, slimy. Yes, it was slimy. What the fuck? That was weird. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe. <clears throat> oh true that would be although snuff films are kind of eh but <sighs> I never give hostages rides what the fuck this is some bullshit Nothing useful here. Bad cop for not giving rides. Shut up. You're telling me. Shut up, Robbie. Actually, I need food. <clears throat> I have some cash. All right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
was one star. We'll take it. I don't like Norman anymore. Hmm. What is this emoji that he just posted? Pretty fast fingers, okay. Mainly, thank you for 20 months. Appreciate it. <laughs> Sounds like he might also be a serial killer. <laughs> that is a very real possibility. <laughs> Attorney at Shaw. So Norman doesn't do crime, just killing people, lol. So no cash registers? <laughs> Motherfucker. Listen, okay, Norman isn't a petty crime guy, alright? <laughs> He's a serial murderer. <laughs> Jesus. He's got shit to do. He's a busy day today. Uh, yeah. You have enough gas now for pogs. Yeah. Uh, 250 gas. Grinder alert. Don't you at me as if I'm in the wrong, you dumb fuck. Get off the side of the road. Fuck. <laughs> he must be from the U. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I ran over and stabbed Melon 2.0. I forgot about that. I wish Norman worked at Burger Shot. What the? Hello okay. there. Hello, welcome to Burger Shot. Hurry up with your fucking order. <laughs> I think I want to be working here. I need a spot of cash. <laughs> I did this murder and I'll eat this burger. The food here is to die for, and quite frankly, I wish you would. Uh, Maybe we'll meet up with that guy, actually. What's his fucking name? G. Wilkins. Okay. <laughs> this person's this thing is just crackhead. <clears throat> I see. All right, then what sort of crime would that be? Well, for starters, uh, my first class, which is the free one, is very basic. So if you're not if you're not a beginner, that one's probably not for you. Uh, the second one has to do with robbing houses, and the third one has to do with selling drugs to children. 
I see. All right. And the first session, what does that uh, typically consist of? So it's usually just very basic, you know, lock picking, uh, robbing twenty four sevens, showing the people where the fence is and how to sell their goods. Very and very, you know, very simple stuff that no one that's uh, hasn't been in the server very, in the you know the very long <laughs> how to how to do it, you know. What the fuck? I see. Okay, uh, I appreciate your time. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Oh my fucking god, bro! I get I get the fuck out of here with this. Oh my god! Fuck me, dude. We're in a good state, boys. Uh, that's perfectly fine. Um, what was your name, by the way? Norman. Norman. Okay. Uh, well, I'm Manor Gallows, but most people just call me Gallows. All right, Mr. Gallows, I'll, uh, I'll speak with you soon. All right, sounds good. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> uh, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Using LSPI as a front, uh, we'll see about, you know... What's the TLDR of Norma's character? Oh, fuck. Um, there's a couple different cannons you're free to accept. Either he is literally uh, the omnipotent existence of, de uh, existence of death, or he's a crazy person. Uh, he's a scary, crazy person who thinks he is death. You're free to choose whichever you want. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if there is a TLDR. I'm going to be honest with you. Was uh, his cat that jumped off his roof um, and landed on a spiked fence. Uh, and got impaled in a couple different places and he watched it he watched it slowly bleed to death um, and for whatever reason he was cool with that um, and then he killed several animals and grew up kind of lonely uh, as you know throughout his teenage years and then whenever he grew up he became a uh, <laughs> um, uh, woman with actually, eh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if uh, her giving me that was of significance. I suppose it could be. All right, let's go up north to Palito. Actually, it'd be easier if I went this way. Is Norman a good driver? Uh, he's more careful. Get out of the way. The end game, his end game is to kill everybody, right? He's, he's crazy. Norman is crazy. He likes to see people suffer and he likes to see them die. He, his end goal is unattainable. And that's why, the, you know, he's always chasing it, right? <clears throat> Any, uh, any kills? Is Norman afraid of death? No, because he believes he is death. Norman is crazy. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to value my own life, right? So, if someone holds me at gunpoint, I'm just, I'm not going to be like, fucking do it, pussy. I'm obviously not. Uh, but, you know, it, like, I'm going to go along with it. Um, but as, as far as, you know, he will comply with someone who is threatening his life. That doesn't mean that he's going to be nice to them. <laughs> uh, will you be watching Dundee? Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck with uh, Dundee. Yeah, hundred percent. Good clip. I'd imagine it is.
This is interesting. <laughs> you know what's interesting? Tidbit of lore. Uh, the second person ever that I ever stabbed uh, was in this tent right here. Oh. What the fuck? Come over there. <gasps> what the fuck? Purchase lab key. I've, uh, I've just unlocked the meth meta. Pog! <laughs> Purchase lab key. Not enough shungite. Oh, alright. Um, well. <laughs> the meth god Norman, I guess. Holy shit. Wow. Alright. I can't stab anybody there anymore. <laughs> Yeah, that is not something that I know on Ziggy at all. Holy shit, that is so funny. I literally just was trying to show you guys like a lore dump. Like a little lore tip. Two point two mi la casa de jubilation. What the fuck? What? what does that even mean? Jubilation? Wait, did I? Okay, I'm stupid. To, uh, if and when you're doing it, to find your sources and then double check those sources and then double check their sources, as it were. Right. I'm sure, uh, you know, being thorough Hi is uh, a given. I'm Zarina yep, Vega, but you'd be surprised how easily ladies, it can come unglued, as it were. And yeah, let's get uh, so it's important to you know, check your sources. I'm well aware. Um, So, it's a pretty cool gig. Uh, essentially, how it works is uh, if someone comes to you looking for information, you, you do a $500 consult, in which case you, or at that point, you kind of evaluate what their needs are and how difficult it would be to facilitate them. And then you negotiate a price for said information. You go out to get said information and you give them what they, they ask for. And if you have more information, you kind of then negotiate on uh, Thomas Normandy. Although I think Thomas is away on vacation for a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Rich that's, that's will be, uh, Richie Nickel will be around <clears throat> probably in the next couple of days here. Um, hmm. And that would be, you know, your best bet, I think. I see. Okay. Uh, the easiest way to do it is to, how you found me, just in the yellow pages. Sure. Um, I mean, we we service anyone and everyone, right? Uh, so I mean, there's larger groups for sure. Um, individuals. Uh, sometimes we may try to work out or uh, you know, um, work out deals with with companies so that you know we can continually you know. Uh, keep an eye, uh, keep an eye on them. Make sure that everything's okay. Um, but in general, it's anyone and everyone. Uh, pretty much everyone's fair game. 
I see. All right. <clears throat> uh, I will say there's not a, a significant, uh, significant, sorry, significant um, adoration for the police. We we very much like to keep ourselves separate from them. We don't really handle criminal cases, as it were. Mm. Um, we try to keep. I would hold off on kidnapping people and and torturing them. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's out of the question. I wouldn't be doing anything like that. <laughs> um, I like, uh, one of my philosophies as of it is, is finding the little guy who doesn't get to talk to a lot of people. And mm. then you talk to them. Uh, they're usually happy to talk to people and give you all the information you need. Agreed. Okay. Well, to do that whenever they are and, uh, get started as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, well, they may not be hiring at the moment. But again, I don't really have any control of that, but obviously it doesn't hurt to have that conversation with them. They'll, uh, they'll want to hire me. Just pass it along. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't mind uh, letting them know. All right, perfect. Uh, thank you, Mr. Gallows. I'm going to uh, finish my cigarette here. If, uh... Of course. I... About what's going on with the scenario, <laughs> and he will dramatically pass away. Then the participants, you guys, will uh, work together to solve the mystery and find the clues and figure out who killed them. And then when it's over, everyone will uh, have an opportunity to make their accusations uh. about who they think the killer is. And once the killer is revealed, we'll, uh, we'll hand out some awards. Everyone will vote. So um, there'll be an award for best costume. There'll be one for best... Yes, they've been getting involved. Uh, I don't know if I can afford it right now, but uh, I'd, I'd like to get involved very soon. All right, well, no worries. Uh, like I said, we're, we're almost always here, and if we're not, if we're in the yellow pages, just so give us a call. Be like, uh, I see. All right. Uh, I appreciate your time, madam. All right, you have a, uh... Thank you very much for your time and your interest, and uh, we look forward to having you join us soon. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm doing that. One of these days, we are doing that. Oh, murder mystery? No, 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 no. Oh, man. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, we're doing that. We are doing that. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make it a real murder mystery. <laughs> that reason. Now in 2.0 with Tessa, the relationship it was different because uh, Tessa was. He essentially found out that Tessa was a killer. She had a dark side to her called uh, Mary, and they, between one another, had a mutually assured destruction and they that was their relationship they never did anything to one another because they both knew that if either of them i don't know i don't know what i was doing fuck to kill reed uh okay genius you were gonna go fishing from broke as fuck uh, i guess i'll respond to the news call see if it's actually a bank truck going to the loss to get money well the problem is is that norman has to learn about you know who who is oh my god norman yeah yeah you kind of do have to be like openly openly a criminal for most stuff you know i always bump into people yeah yeah there's people all over the island now not gonna call the truck in what what do you think norman's a fucking snitch norman plans on murdering people which means he's gonna need connections at some point do you think calling a bank truck in is a good idea for that no anyway, i don't care about the rest holy shit <clears throat> okay <laughs> he had the audacity to blame them. 
Oh, uh, holy fuck, dude. Okay. I wonder if anybody, uh... Okay, nobody's gave me a ring. We'll, uh, re-up on our ad. <clears throat> Remove. Ad. Fuck. Uh, okay, wait. Actually, something that I want to note down he is his boss. Or owner of the company. Need to contact him at some point. <clears throat> okay. It's like I just sell. sell. It would come on the more expensive side. Is this group of people dangerous? Uh, depends what your class is dangerous, I guess. <clears throat> All right. Uh, well, I mean, I, uh... I mean, they're a bunch of pussy flakes, you know, in my eyes. But, you know, yeah, they, they <laughs> carry guns and they're a bit sort of, ooh, we're hardcore, but they're not. I see. Do you feel that they're, uh... <clears throat> Hello there, are you, are you the man that called me on the phone? I, I am indeed Mr. Bones, I presume. <clears throat> yes, yeah, that's me. All right, pleasure to meet you. Pay for that sort of thing, but if you're looking for exclusivity, that comes in favors. Okay, what kind of favors are we talking about here? I mean, I'm not going to give you a hand job if that's what you're asking for, son. I don't want one. Uh, I don't have anything in mind, but it would sort of be like uh, an IOU. All right, that's fine then. Uh, in which case, uh, I suppose I would uh, need uh, names, uh, you know, where they're at usually and what exactly you need me to find from them. All right. Uh... Have you heard of the Condemned MC? Most people in the city call him Condensed Milk. Uh, I've seen them, uh, you know, uh, tag a couple of spots up, up north. Yeah, yeah, they, they like doing it worthy with his information, and when that came to light, it uh, put a big dampener on anything he had told me. So what I'm looking to do is get clarification on a few things. All right. So... <clears throat> Any information you can gather on them, any of their members, any of their businesses, anything at all would be great. I can give you a few starting blocks. Just let me know what you need on Sunshine. Actually, uh, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, that uh, that will most certainly be uh, an easy thing to start with. Then, okay. And uh, they mostly hang out uh, up north, from what I can tell, anyway. They're Polito based, yeah, but they fucking uh, they operate a store up at the market called the Mojito Inn. That seems to be their business they run. The only time they move <laughs> then is down at the night time. They move down to the pier to run things as well. <gasps> if they're running these businesses the way that I think they're running them, there is more than one way to skin a cat here, simple as. <clears throat> I don't need to go in there and swing my dick around and tell them, you're going to give us money from this company, that company, but what I can do is make their life a living fucking hell for them. If oh, the IRS is aware that their money is not legitimate and going through businesses that they're trying to... ...of uh, their involvement with it, and if they're... Uh really tied in as far as uh, if their names are attached to any sort of uh, documents. I'll try and dig in there 
As far as the properties goes, uh, you want me to just confirm that they are using those properties for, uh, you know, storage or something like that? Correct. I want to know exactly that, that that's where they're staying, that's where they're living, that kind of shit. Okay, perfect. I will, uh, I'll get started on that then. Beautiful. <clears throat> Appreciate it. As for payments, do you still want to be paid? Uh, I know you spoke about favors and shit as well, but how does this work now? Uh, so, the consultation is $500, and for uh, just as a baseline, uh, I suppose, in total, uh, the $500 for consultation and for the job itself will just go with 1000 for the time being. There's five <laughs> grand. Holy fuck! Don't ask any more questions, and we're good. All right, uh, that works then, in which case I'll, uh, I'll be in contact. I don't, uh, I don't do text messages, and if you receive a phone call from an anonymous number, then it's more than likely me. All right, do you have my number or do you need it? Uh, it's in my... Nice! I actually can! Augers! So... Yeah, I was gonna say, how does that look? It's just a guy in his, in his car holding his camera. Oh my god, genius! All right, perfect. That's all I needed right there. <laughs> this is uh, house number, I believe, 15 on Procopio Promenade. Uh, I've checked the, val the validity and it is presently owned. This is Procropio Promenade number 17. Uh, it is presently owned. Just next to it uh, is Procopio Promenade 18, which is also owned. I will be heading to City Hall to check the, uh, the owners. So we'll clip that. Elpers, Elpers, Elpers. Who are you searching for? It's not who right now. I'm sur I'm looking at properties and I need to I need to figure out the val the validity of a previous private investigator's claims. No elp, you fucking bitches. City Hall. This is the warehouse property off of El Rancho Boulevard. If you pull in, uh, if you pull in just off the road with the yellow fencing, make a right. It is this door right here. Can I meet you somewhere? Uh, sure. Yeah, wherever you'd like. You sound like Batman. Uh, all right. If that's uh, if, if that's what you prefer, you could call okay. me that if you'd like. Okay, Batman. Uh, where are you? Uh, I mean, I have a house that I'd eventually like to uh, purchase. I could meet you there, I suppose. Uh, sure. Where's that? 
Uh, do you know where the uh, the church is just off Route 68? Uh, yeah. It's a house just up that dirt road. It's got a wooden fence. Oh, okay. The <laughs> you talking about the fence? No, the one just north of that. Oh, the serial killer den. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Or he's such a shit there. All right. He's, mm -hmm. he's such a shithead, dude. I love Reed. He's such a shithead. <laughs> uh, I don't have lights anymore, huh? Oh, fuck. It's rough, boys. <laughs> Shit. Yes. Papa Bones? Uh, who is this? It's me, you son dumbass. What do you want, dumbass? <laughs> I need help in finding Jackie. Uh, I don't know who Jackie is. Jackie Snow. I don't know Jackie Snow. Oh, he's the trooper that I'm currently with, Dad. Uh, you mean, oh, you're currently with him? Yeah, like, sexually and married to him. I see, and you need me to find him. Find anything interesting? Hey, what the fuck? Oh shit! Uh, uh no, nothing at all. Uh -huh. Step back. Yeah. He <laughs> 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 didn't see me standing here. <laughs> uh, no, you're obviously. Uh, <laughs> your your years training with Rachel Ghoul taught you well. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> you you are the knight. Mm. Okay, so there's a barn, uh, uh, a red barn at the, hold on, close intersection. Route 68 in Joshua. There's a red barn near there, and there's a shipping container around the back. Uh, I don't think they're active in that lab. It's too close to us, and they know we fucking hate them. Mm, right. Uh, there's the one across from the power plant. That's where I think they are active. Because I found a bunch of people cooking there once, and I found a car nearby, and it had three IDs in it. One of them was Derek Bogart, Fritz Erickson, and then Mika Kokonen. No idea who that Mika guy is. So if you can find more information on that person, that'd be great. All right. Sounds good. But... but but yeah, if you can find out when their crew or Bertha is cooking and you give me that information, I will pay you 20 grand. All right. So you want the location and when they're usually cooking then? Yes. Okay. That is... Please, you've confirmed uh, that they're... Uh... Oh, yeah. I've... Yeah, I've... Uh... So the stuff that's unconfirmed uh, will say unconfirmed. I see. Okay, got it. Okay. Uh... And with all of this, uh, actually, give me a moment. Okay, yeah, I've uh, double-checked all this. All right, uh, so with all of this, uh, Patty is, is... All right, beautiful. Uh, we can stop. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I honestly think that Bertha Clark is a big player in all this, and no one is really looking into her. So I think that is a good string to tug on. Uh, so when I was looking on, uh, looking at her information uh, down at the uh, at City Hall, uh, mm -hmm. she has quite a she she has a profile picture. Ugh. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> she has a uh, an MDW uh, photo, which means she's more than likely been incarcerated at some point. Uh, however, her record has been expunged, which means she's actively trying to stay clean. Uh, mm typically you know indication of some safe shady shit <clears throat> hey, that's connecting some dots there but okay right i mean i expect that from cops i guess 
Okay, all right. <laughs> See you at the city or the Harmony Bank. <laughs> Are you coming with me? I'll come with you. All right, great. Well, I'm just gonna pull out through here. Oh, no, not that way, huh? Uh, do you know how patches work? Uh, well, I can read the patch, sure. <laughs> oh, then you know, read between the lines, I guess. <clears throat> oh, the power's out. <laughs> That's okay. No. Can't fucking see anything. <laughs> also, can you find out where my husband is? Oh, what's your husband's name? <laughs> Ryan Parker. All right, you've tasked me with quite a few things here today, Mister uh, Renton. Yeah, and I'm also paying you five grand, so shut your fuck about. <laughs> All right. Uh, what does Ryan look like? Pussy. Ryan looks like a pussy. All right. Uh, what does he sound like? A bigger pussy. I see. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that all you're gonna give me to work with? That's all I got, really. Okay. All right. Do you need to? He's been ride? away for so long, I forget what he looks like. <gasps> all right. That makes it rather difficult then. Yeah. Is he dead? Do you think? I don't know. Usually, when I threaten to divorce him, he shows up, and I did just <laughs> threaten to marry. You know, someone called Kermy Fulker, so I don't know. He might show up and try and kill him. I'm not too <laughs> sure, but if you can find him, that'd be great. All right, I'll uh, I'll do my best then. <laughs> I wouldn't look too hard though, because chances are you, you know, you'll probably just won't find anything. All right, I'll uh, I'll bear that in mind then. Let me put this yeah. away. <laughs> yeah, unless you have money for him, he doesn't really show up. All right, I appreciate it. Uh, sorry, what? You need a ride. <laughs> I know this piece of shit. God damn, get a better car. All right. <laughs> You're a millionaire. You drive a piece of shit. I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> Let's go sell this shit real quick. Yeah, I have like I I told you that I already oh. only have like seven million. <laughs> Never mind. I, I need a ride. <laughs> don't need him to fucking come up here of course he is <clears throat> what do you want mr Renton? You like a repair kit do you have one i do all right sure then why do you want it to fix the smoking truck <laughs> And it didn't need fixing. Alright, fine. It doesn't need fixing. Okay. <laughs> Where are we walking to? Down to the animal arc. Oh, okay. Are we going to walk all the way back to, to get the other pelt? That's exactly right. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not walking like that. <laughs> oh, eat my dust, pussy. <laughs> He's gonna hit my fucking car. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> That's mighty impressive. I am. <laughs> That's how grinders should walk right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. I'm bored. Yeah, well. You're free to give me that repair kit at any point. I thought you didn't need it. I don't need it. I know. <laughs> I wish you got it back the car. Some for Here you are. And all the way back. Oh yeah. 
There's no way. I like your Alfred. What? <laughs> sure. Uh, Alfred, please go get the Batmobile. <laughs> mm. You see, Alfred wouldn't have questioned it. Well, I mean, I'm Jeremy Irons Alfred, okay? I'm cool Alfred. <laughs> oh, Reed does look scary like that, though. <clears throat> and then he does stuff like that and immediately goes away. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta talk like this all day. Fuck you. All right, well, I guess, you know, if that's what you feel is intimidating. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Wait, oh my god, it didn't. Did it go all stupid? No, it's, I mean, I, I feel like it may sound like what you intended it to. <laughs> It's supposed to sound deep and menacing. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, it's definitely not that. God damn it! <laughs> fucking power outages fucking out my Go XLR. <laughs> is, that, is that what's implemented into your mask there? <laughs> No, it's on my desk, you fucking moron. Double <laughs> 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 legs. <laughs> this is oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you must have got us killed. Actually, pretty well placed. <laughs> got the other pal? Yeah, I got the other pal. All right. <laughs> Do you own a vehicle? <laughs> yes. Where is. Wee! This is. This is the worst outcome of today. I'm living it. They can't control us. This is... This is not how I planned on today going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Like I said, I can't control us. Please. Get me the fuck out of here. You are a degenerate. You like the lockpick now? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, shit. I don't know what I'm going to be. Hopefully the, uh, the rental paper is... Re rental Why don't you just take one of the ones from the motel? Dumbass. <clears throat> Alright, sure. <laughs> and what are you going to do? I fake quit probably. <laughs> God, I wish you would sooner. Fucking <laughs> read <laughs> 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 oh my fucking god <laughs> oh holy shit <sighs> god damn fucking Skinny without getting uh, uncanny, centralistic models. Uh, limit is lower than. Oh, okay. Either way, still, I appreciate it. Hell yeah.
Was a red bison stolen or bought? It was a rental. Can you Spider-Man on the bike? Sure, I could try. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm playing. This is a serious character. Chat, stop it. I'm supposed to toss that on the ground, honestly. So am I on the list yet? Listen, okay. Here's the problem, all right? Here's the problem with Reed and why Reed can never be on Norman's list, all right? Because if I go to try, it doesn't even matter if I like properly get a hold of him, kidnap him, whatever it is. There is no being serious with killing Reed, okay? There is, there's no, <laughs> like if I try to ask him serious questions, like, you know, tell me about your family or, you know, why do you care about the lost? It's just going to be some, hey, they're fun to hang out with. I don't have a family. They're all dead. <laughs> Shut up. I could do serious RP moron. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> I know I know we don't have much of a relationship. But um do you mind if I ask? Sure. Were you in prison? No, I was uh I had gotten a ride from a friend. Uh, I was meeting oh, him in the, in Harmony and uh he... Oh okay, yeah. He went and took a nap, so I just needed to ride out of there. Oh, okay, yeah, no problem, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I just wondered, uh, <clears throat> obviously, being the locale. <laughs> <clears throat> you okay there, sir? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Is there a reason you're, uh, shirtless? <clears throat> I just had to, uh... You know what? One second, Snow. One second, Snow. So he stops questioning. What? We just had to go into a dark tunnel and check for something going on down there. So I had to get into my swimming outfit. There had to be outfit. some semen. Uh, swimming outfit was uh, leopard print underwear. Yeah. Is there a problem with that, sir? Uh, no. I suppose to everybody their own. It was. I'll oh, uh... get changed if it makes you feel uncomfortable, sir. I realize that <laughs> uh, like you know I may look a little threatening to you right now. I understand. He's a little uh... bit intimidated, Snow. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay. Is that okay, sir? Uh, sure. I, I wasn't bothered by either way. Oh, okay. Uh, you okay? You. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta go back to looking for meth labs now. <laughs> yeah, he fucking slammed those brakes. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is great <laughs> Norman's been in the city one day I know where two meth labs are <laughs> I know that uh, the, the, the condemned and the lost and uh, lots of other groups want the condemned dead uh, lots of people want Gunther clean dead um, I now know that uh Dick Chicklets, who works at Hayes Auto Repair, is uh, very desensitized to, uh, you know, uh, kidnappings, uh, you know, uh, uh, kidnappings, uh, borderline torturing, um, that sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> it's it's going great. <laughs> Which is uh, interesting, I guess. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I'm tired. Maybe no. Maybe we'll start on Norman another day. You know, we got we got some gear. We talked to a couple people. Whatever. Whatever, dude. I'm sleepy. I want to go ch ch chill for a bit so appreciate you guys hanging out i'm gonna get 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 the fuck out of here all right thanks for chilling with me okay see you in a year shut up dank 
You tease? Listen. Norman tomorrow. Alright, a, a chat, okay? <clears throat> Norman, all of tomorrow.